Hi, I'm Lasse and I'm teaching people on metal shaping. And we are back here on YouTube again with another trick. And this is, I think this is important for you out there to, to know the difference between the deep shrink and stretch and the small shrink and stretch. And the small one is one, about one inch. The deep one is five and a half inch deep. And I'm going to show you the difference between those two. Here's a sample that I show you, I'm going to make this piece as well. So you see there, when we're using the small shrink and shrinking hard on the edge, we make this edge shorter. And the, the part of this panel inside the shrinking marks is actually going to be longer compared to this surface here. So when we shrink here, this puckle up here, and it gets raising up here, but the part here is going to be flat. When we're using the deep shrinker, we can shrink in like a pie shape. So hard pressure on the edge and less, less, the further in you go. You can go even five and a half inch deep in. And then you take a new bite and hard, less, 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 hard, less, 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 hard, less, less. And you can get a smooth radius like this if you use the deep shrinker. It's much, much harder to just shrink the edge and, and get the same shape. You can get it there, and you can, but you need to roll that up with the English wheel. And don't shrink it so much. Continue ro rolling it instead, shrinking a little more on the edge and rolling it up. So it's two different ways to, to work with metal. You can either shrink from the outside and create the shape you want, or you're rolling it in the English wheel and just take help of the shrinker for the edge and rolling it up in the English wheel in the inside. So it's two different ways to work, depends on what tools you have access to. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to show you what it looks like when I'm, when I'm shrinking this hard. And even if I, go a little deeper in from the beginning, I'm still going to get a puckle. So this is, this is very difficult to smooth out. I can go to the wheel and I can roll it with a low pressure there, but it's never going to be smooth as it is when I'm using the deep shrinker. So I am go over to the five and a half inch deep shrinker and I'm shrinking it a little on the edge. like that and then I do more on the edge and less less the further in I go so less pressure I can take a buckle like that and then I can go in with light pressure further in and you can just see how that looks like immediately there So what I mean with the, with, the, with the pie shape, with the shrinking is high pressure on the edge and less, less the further in I go. And the more consistent you are with the shrinking, the less you need to roll it out in the English wheel later on. So there you can see the surface is pretty okay there. So if I go over to the wheel now and uh, smooth this out with a third wheel without the rubber band, so then we can take a look how that looks like. So I'm back to the wheel and I have a third wheel, so I have more radius there. So if, if the shrinking is not so smooth, then you will feel more and more marks when you're rolling it. I could feel now that I could actually have shrunk it a little, little more smooth. So there you can see the, the shape. So now it's a smooth radius, but I couldn't get that with the small shrinker. So that's the difference between 
a shrinker that you can reach in a little further in, and the one that you can't. Just to show you, I'm going to do a, a sample for you and see, see how far we can get. If I take this piece here now, take the third wheel, and I'm going to force this through here, it's going to be a little tough. See, it's, it's, it's almost... So you see what happened there, <clears throat> but you see, still see a high spot here. So I, I, couldn't, I couldn't fix that so it looks like this. If I go to, over to the deep one, shrinker, I can fix that. But with on, only with a small one, I can't that. So to go ahead and, and change the shape of this without only the small shrinker, I need to roll this part up here so it's matching more that curve. So that's the, that's the trick for today, the difference between the small shrinker and the deep shrinker. The thing is also that with the deep shrinker, you can save so many panels because you can reach in further on the panel and, and you can save the panel and you can work quicker. You, yeah, you can work on, uh, you can have better control when you shrink from the outside instead of shrinking, I would say instead of rolling it from the inside you can get two pieces, left and right side, more symmetrical. So that was the tip for today. So if you want more information about video, hands-on hands classes and books, you can go to www.lazymetalshaping.com. Thank you for watching.